Hi, how are you? My name is Pete and in this quick video I'm going to show you how to get to the training area in Monster Hunter Rise as well as all the customizable options that you can choose from once you're there. So once you're in the village all you gotta do is just jump on your dog and just follow the path I'm taking on the screen here. Basically you want to head towards that bridge. Once you cross the bridge you want to head to the coast. Now you see on the left there you're passing by the Argosy and all you gotta do is just approach this boat and that will bring you to the training area. So that's how you get to it the first time. However, once you already discover it, there is an easier way to get there. And every next time after that, I suggest you use the options menu to get to the training area. So all you gotta do is just go to your options, scroll right to the last tab and then you'll see the option move around the village and on this screen you're gonna have all the areas that you've been to before including the training area so the whole idea of the training area of course is to train you your sets different moves of different weapons whatever you want to train there however this time around the training area actually gives you a lot of options to choose from now to get to those options you go to your options menu then you scroll once to the right and then you will see at the top there training options and here you have a couple to choose from so let's go over them very quickly first of all you can change the monster's head position from high to low and that option is very helpful when you're testing the ability of your set to stun the monster or you just want to check how your set behaves when you're hitting the weak spots now if for whatever reason you want a monster to look at different directions you can pretty much choose any direction left right back forward whichever you choose now the next option allows you to switch on the tracking option on the monster so basically that monster will behave like any other monster in the game and it will try to face you at all times next option allows you to switch switch on the projectile on the monster. That will cause the monster to constantly shoot the projectile at you and you can learn the dodging moves or guarding moves or whatever you choose to learn. Now in the same category you can also choose the stomp option instead of the projectile option. That option allows you to check all the counter moves or the general behavior of your set whenever it gets attacked. Now if you look behind the monster you will notice all those targets that are moving. They're generally used for training bows or light bow guns or heavy bow guns. Now if you don't like them moving, that's what the next option is for. You can change them to static. And the last option you can choose is the amount of wire bags you can have in the training area, including the unlimited one. So if you're trying to learn all the movement or if you're trying to use the wire bags with the special attacks of your weapons, you don't have to worry about running out of them. Now, I hope you find this video useful. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.